like one it's not really much of a fear but it's just something I'm very conscious about mm-hmm. constantly and it's always like it was a fear I'll make some tiny little mistake kind of like the jaywalking incidents like that and there won't be a George there you know just a <laughs> just a really careless thought like yeah. putting your heel in the in the yeah. tire wheel or whatever and then just have that you know escalate to some catastrophic you know like grievous bodily injury or death you know because it yeah. happens a lot there's uh unfortunately on the internet there's a lot of footage of things like that happening people just aren't thinking twice about something and then one mm. little mistake changes their life forever it is something yeah. they wouldn't even think about and then boom that's it rest of your life forever changed um i think th- i remember one there was one story that was actually rather sad um it kind of highlights this there's uh some boss just uh, this is at a shop or something um a shop like a uh, I don't know what it was, it was like mechanics. a metalworking shop. Yeah, like a mechanical shop or something like that, I think. Yeah. Because they had a pressurized air system. Like one of those beefy ones. Oh. Um, and the boss was just... I mean, he didn't think it through, really. This is a rather bad decision. But you can see how it might be something careless that somebody does. He decides to play a prank on one of his employees. and like, Oh, his, my God. Have you heard about this one? No, I'm just that, yeah. that, that already sounds like a bad idea. Yeah, right? it's it's pretty bad. Like if you know anything about shop safety, one of the things they should emphasize is that um, pressurized air can be quite dangerous. The, I don't know. I don't like people start playing with it. Nah, even even when people like use it to like brush themselves off, I'm like, yo, it's probably yeah. safe, but you never know. Um, but this boss decided to play a prank on this employee by i don't even want to say it man he just stuck the uh he stuck the nozzle up his bum like and then what's the i know <laughs> bro and he, and, he, and, he, and he shot some air up in there and it was, it was just like some air for like literally like a split second literally split a second uh the dude ended up literally dying because of the in, like the internal injuries yeah because it just it completely just destroyed oh, pressure, his, man. yeah that pressure just destroyed yeah. his like intestines and like organs and whatnot in there um and like I've seen the CCTV uh, because there was like some CCTV footage associated with it, uh-huh. and it's not particularly graphic, you know. But the, the dude immediately collapses. Like he takes a couple steps, he looks like super dazed and confused, and then he just falls over. Which is like, because if you think about what happened internally, like the pain receptors must have been overwhelming, dude. Mm-hmm. Hey, and it must have been like so fast, right? Like he, your body must have just shut down immediately, right? Like yeah. you just got gone into shock. The blood pressure must have been going crazy as that happened right and like for example that was a you could see how like if you weren't thinking it through that could be like a really innocent mistake that you make you know yeah it's like oh oh oh, hair up your butt oh wait i killed your shit (laughs) you know (laughs) it's like damn the other dude had no shot no chance just a random little accident and it's all over bro you know The little things like that probably scare uh-huh. me the most, you know, because that's probably, uh-huh. I mean, statistically speaking, it's probably not what's going to get you. Statistically speaking, you're going to get gotten by something like cancer or heart disease or something. But man, it's those freak accidents that really creep me out. 